For the Interrobang, I'm Hannah Theodore. Here's what's making news this week at Fanshawe. Fanshawe's flight services students have the chance to work with the public while finding the practical skills they will need out in the field or up in the air. The program held its second annual dinner services at a local restaurant, a partner of the program. Students will gain hospitality experience as they work with real customers from the London community. For those who already have dining experience, it brings it to a fine dining level, so they will still walk away with additional experience. They do everything from the second the customer walks in the door to the moment they leave. The dinner service has now ended, but you can read all about it right now on our website. London community leaders have come together to propose an ambitious solution to the city's ongoing homelessness crisis. Over the course of three summits, more than 200 leaders from over 70 local organizations met to discuss how best to tackle the ongoing homelessness crisis in the city of London. The conclusion after the summits was that a coordinated effort from all sectors of the city was needed in order to find an effective solution. The main part of the system is to have more than a dozen hubs, shelters that would provide services like primary and mental health care to housing support throughout the city, providing 24 seven support. Along with the hubs, 100 high support housing units are being immediately built with 600 more being built over the course of the next three years. Read more about the plan now on our website. A recent study by Western University's Trina Orchard found that Canadian women don't know enough about the benefits of sexual wellness. The study, which surveyed over 1,000 women, found that 93% of Canadian women don't understand what sexual wellness is, how to talk about it, or how to incorporate it into their lives. The study also found that Gen Z are almost twice as likely as boomers to view sexual wellness as important to both physical and mental health. 57% versus 34%. Reporter Dee Dee Samuels interviewed Dr. Dr. Orchard to learn more about what this study tells us about women and sexual wellness. Check out the full story right now on our website. That wraps up another video news roundup. Be sure to pick up the latest copy of Interrobang on newsstands right now. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and subscribe to our newsletter to keep up with all things Fanshawe. For the Interrobang, I'm Hannah Theodore.